basketball player is asking for prayers tonight after the teenager collapsed on a court. And tonight, 15-year-old Preston Settles is at Tufts Medical Center. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Anna Ritas Rodriguez. I'm Paula Eben. Emergency crews worked on him for hours just to get his heart beating again. WBZ's Christina Hager spoke with Preston's parents who are hoping he will recover. Not in our wildest imagination that something like this would happen. Daryl Settles and Lisa Owens had gone to see their healthy 15-year-old son Preston play in a basketball game. He had taken the bench to catch his breath. And then all of a sudden my husband said, Preston's down. He had collapsed, his arms flailing. His eyes were just glaring up. And so I did this to him and there was absolutely no response. And then all of a sudden he just stopped breathing. It happened at the Brooks School in North Andover where people jumped into action with CPR until the emergency crew arrived, rushed to Lawrence General Hospital on an automatic CPR machine and breathing tube for an hour. His mother will always remember the doctor there telling them Preston still had no heartbeat. I mean, you could just tell by her demeanor. They brought in the psychologist. They were sort of basically telling us it was starting to look like the beginning of the end. So then, you know, I say this is impossible. It can't be possible. The attending leaves and comes back and says his heartbeat is back. Yeah. And we're going we're gonna to med flight him out of here. Here to Tufts Medical Center. His oxygen saturation was only around the 25 percent, and we barely see patients who survive an oxygen saturation below 50. In an unusual move, doctors put Preston on a machine that keeps his heart and lungs functioning. But his parents say the signs of love in his room, visits from friends, they do something. Even a medical miracle can't. We definitely believe it's getting to him, lifting him up, and pushing him forward. So if there are people out there who can pray and fight for Preston, you know, we need, we not, we need all of it. Doctors say the progress Preston has made in the last five days is miraculous, but they say he still has a long way to go. His parents say all the support he's getting will be the key. In Boston, Christina Hager, WBZ News. My goodness, you certainly feel for that family, Paula, and this is a testament to the dedication of our health care workers. Oh, of course, and when something like that happens to your child, you just hope the people are there that will do for your child what they were able to do for Preston. So we wish him and his whole family all the best and we to sure get well do. soon. We sure do.